Hey there. In this set of tutorials, we are going to be calculating value drivers to use when forecasting our financial statements. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to look at the sales growth rate, which is going to be the amount by which, when we're forecasting, that we think sales is going to get larger each year. To do this, we need to calculate the geometric annual growth rate. It's the same type of growth rate we used when we were calculating uh, dividend growth, when we were using the Gordon model, when we had to figure out how much larger dividends we're going to get each year. And to do that, you'll see that I added a couple extra columns. I've got this column for averages. We're going to get to that later. But in this tutorial and in the next two tutorials, we're going to be focusing on this value driver column which is where we're going to have the value driver. For instance, if sales growth rate turns out to be 22%, it'll say 22%, and then here it'll say growth rate. And so this will tell us in the type column, it'll remind us what we calculated so that when we go to actually do the forecasting, we'll remember what we're supposed to do with it. So to start for to get our geometric growth rate, you'll remember that the formula, all growth rate formulas start with the newer value divided by the older value. And in this case, we've got 2012 value of 6.6 .6 million divided by 2010's value of 5.671 million. The reason this is going to have to be slightly different than the more recent formulas that we've used is because this, this accounts for two years of growth. So it grew from 2010 to 2011. It grew from 2011 to 2012. So this is two growth periods, so we need an exponent. And our exponent is going to be, the, the formula for it is 1 divided by n minus 1, right, where n is the number of years. So we've got 1, 2, 3 years, which means we've got 1, 2 growth periods. So it's going to be raised to the 1 half. And then we subtract 1. Excel uses order of operations, um, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, a, a division, addition, subtraction. And if that feels like you don't want to trust Excel to do that, you can add brackets so that it becomes more clear that the one is subtracted afterwards. Oh, it doesn't want brackets. Fine. It wants another set of parentheses, which is fine. I accept that. It's Excel. It can have it how it wants it. And there we get eight, a little under eight and a quarter percent. And under type, I'm going to write that this is a growth rate. This will remind me that when I go to forecast, that sales is growing at eight and a quarter percent per year. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, happy calculating.